In this day and age, if you commit a crime, there's a high possibility that it will be caught on camera. We have so many, but the NYPD releases some new surveillance videos. Uh, they release them almost every day, but it's kind of, is it having any impact when it comes to catching or deterring criminals? Jessica Formoso takes a closer look. Violent video after violent video, some are hard to watch. Who could forget this horrific shooting? A gunman opening fire on a Bronx street. Two children are caught between the gunman and his target. The shooter just continues shooting. In this one, you see a woman being kicked from behind as she walks down the steps of the Queens Plaza subway station in Long Island City. She is then hit over the head with a hammer as many as 13 times as she is shoved to the ground and robbed. There's also moped riding thieves and this home robbery suspect. You see him run up to the victim and point a gun at her waist as she is opening her front door. We are under siege and we desperately need the help from law enforcement to eradicate the threats of violence that are plaguing our society here in the city of New York. These videos are released by the NYPD almost every day, asking the public for their help in finding these violent criminals. When we go back to the early 2000s, we had a mantra, see something, say something. That's the police department's way of utilizing their greatest resource, which is the eight and a half million residents that reside in the city of New York. When we have the public working in that symbiotic relationship with police, it allows and affords the transfer of information to bring violent criminals into custody. It's no secret the city is plagued by violence, and seeing videos like this doesn't help. Headline after headline is really getting to New Yorkers who just don't feel safe walking the streets. Dr. Darren Porcher is a former NYPD lieutenant. Oftentimes when we see a video, it sensationalizes the event. However, bear in mind, the city of New York is experiencing a meteoric rise as that's escalated to a 37% increase in crime. Any and everything needs to be done to gain precipitous drops in crime to allow us a better, a better component of public safety. So when we see these incidents such as people being robbed at gunpoint, it's something that really creates a situation for us as common citizens to think in as if we're in a state of emergency. Crime in New York City is up almost in every category. The NYPD released its crime stats for the week of August 22nd through the 28th. Rape, robberies, assaults, burglary, grand larceny, all up compared to the same time last year. The only category that remained the same murders. Meanwhile, surveillance cameras are everywhere, recording 24-7, yet some of the perps don't seem to care. But Porcher says it's been proven. It's often the videos and photos that lead to arrests. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.